Hi guys, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another New York City vlog. Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so we are back in New York City but only for two days. So today is a spend the day with me vlog. I have a lot of things to do. I need to pack for Miami. I actually just got a package in of spring and summer goodies from Meshki. So I'm gonna show you guys a few cute vacay looks for Miami. I also have a call today with the CFDA. I'm very excited about that. They're doing a little profile on me. I um, mean, I'm definitely trying to get my press up this year. Your girl wants to be international, okay? That's my goal for 2022 and to make it to 100,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So if you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and just stop the video and click that subscribe button. If you're watching from your TV, click the up button and the circular button with my face on it and go ahead and subscribe. You can also like the video by going up and over to those three dots, clicking those three dots, scrolling over and give your girl a thumbs up. I'm doing that today. I'm also doing a podcast today, which I'm very, very excited about. So the podcast that I'm filming today is She Did That Podcast by my girl Renee Blewett. She had an incredible, or she still has an incredible documentary. I hope you guys were able to check it out. Um, and I'm just really thrilled that she chose me to be one of the people featured on her podcast. She's gonna be asking me a lot of questions about my career, how I got started, and just everything about being a fashion and style influencer and being a black woman and being an entrepreneur. So if you're interested in listening to this podcast, and I think there will also be video as well because it's via Zoom, I will link her podcast down below. I'm not sure when it's gonna come out. Check it out anyway. So very excited about that as well. And then you guys, later on, I am meeting up with my girl Octavia B. She has a YouTube channel here. Um, we actually hung out a few weeks ago. And Cassie Thorpe. Now you might, have heard me say Cassie's name a ton. I absolutely love her channel. She's all about luxury. Um, I believe she's based over in uh, London, but she's here in New York City and I had to, we had to meet. We had to meet. So I thought we would have a little YouTube link up with Octavia B and Cassie Thorpe over at RH Rooftop for lunch. Also to celebrate Cassie's birthday. Happy birthday girl if you're watching. Definitely check them out and we'll get ourselves all glam and beautiful and we'll head down there later on. So that is the checklist for today. First up, I believe is going to be my call with the CFDA. If you've never heard of the CFDA, it is the Council of Fashion Designers of America. I'm really excited that they want to profile me. That should be fun. If you guys are wondering, I am wearing this Skims house dress. I'm wearing a size small. These dresses do run kind of big and they have considerable stretch. I believe they go up to a 4XL. So if you're interested, I'll link this dress down below. I also recently just did a brand new blowout and twist out and testing new uh, mousses and products to see how my hair holds up in the humidity. So thanks to everyone who left tips on my previous Miami vlog when I was trying to figure it out because girl, the humidity in Miami is something else. It's something of the worldly over there. Anywho, very excited. Got myself a coffee. I'm gonna chill, I have about 30 minutes before my call with the CFDA. So what I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and try on all of the things from uh, Meshki and film that. And then I have something to include and lay over when I speak about all of the pieces. I actually will do that after my call because I have a few hours before my, my Zoom podcast meeting with Renee. All right, it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's get into it. Whew. All right, guys, so I quickly filmed all of the outfits. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you later. After this meeting, I'm actually running a little late. I have myself here a salmon salad, a glass of water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect for my first meeting with CFDA. 
Whew, I always get a little nervous for these meetings. I never know if they're gonna be like Zoom or just like a call. Here we go. It's Zoom. Hello, how are you? Oh, you don't have to. It's okay. I didn't know whether. <laughs> Hello. No, listen. Can I tell you? I love your channel. I love that you have this confidence. One one blog you did. You said, I don't care. What nobody says. I think I'm the it. I think I'm the finest thing. I think I'm the smartest thing. And I'm in here screaming like, yeah, Monroe! All right, guys. So just finished up my first meeting with uh, CFDA. I cannot even believe it. Like, really? I can't believe the places that people are in who know me. Like, it blows my mind that anyone who works or writes for the CFDA, the president knows who I am because of my YouTube channel. This is nuts, you guys. I can't, this is crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm so blessed and I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. So something cool is coming soon in March with the CFDA. So you guys stay tuned for that. I am eating this delicious salad. Mm. This salmon is delicious. Oh my God, I still can't believe it. You guys, I threw on this green dress. It's super old from Uniqlo. Uniqlo, don't sleep on them because sometimes they be coming through with like basics, dresses, knits for spring. I'm not sure if they have released their spring collection yet, but if so, I'll go ahead and link a few things I'm loving from the Uniqlo website. Oh, uh, I have to thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, for sharing my videos. Happy to help. Have a good Monday afternoon. <laughs> what is Siri talking about? I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching my videos, sharing my videos, thumbsing up subscribing you guys are the reason why all of these good things are happening in my life so i'm glad that you guys love the content really i'm just living i'm just living my life and i think just sometimes seeing someone living or following their dreams can inspire other people because there are lots of people on this platform who inspire me so i'm just really happy that i can be a source of inspiration for you this is definitely my purpose like i feel it deep in here deep in here i am going to finish up this delicious salad i am going to drink some more water we need that and i'm going to go ahead and go through the things that i got in from meshki and show you guys i believe they sent me four pieces they sent me a set with a top and a bottom they sent me two tops and another dress. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Meshki. And then I have another meeting with my girl Renee from She Did That Podcast. And I need to check the sound on that because I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. And then we are gonna head to an, a late lunch with my girl Cassie and Octavia. That meeting was so good. I can't believe it, you guys. She thought I wouldn't respond. Like, I'm, if CFDA sends me an email, I'm responding, okay? I also love that she is a black woman and she has been working for the CFDA for eight years. She has opened doors for so many people. And that's what I'm about. Like, I'm all for bringing people along, opening doors for people, not being a gatekeeper. We are so much stronger together than we are apart. Anywho, that's my little word for the day, y'all. I am going to head into my office. Let's show you guys what I got from Meshki. And then we'll get ready for the second meeting of the day. Oh my gosh. A lot of you are very invested in my plants. 
This is a white bird of paradise that I got from Home Depot. It was only three feet tall when I bought it. I grew her this big with nothing but miracle Grow potting soil and water. But a new leaf just came out, you guys. And y'all know I'm a plant mom. So I have to show you guys Amelia's new leaf. It is beautiful. I'm so happy that it's not as tall as these because these are touching the ceiling. But look how beautiful nature is. Ah, uh, stunning. Also, this beauty over here, this is the newest leaf that just unrolled or unfurlowed about a week ago. Plants just make life better. This is also a white bird of paradise that I got from Home Depot. And for all of you asking the one in the window there, that is a fiddle plant. And those are my three children. Oh, and here's a better look at this dress. It is at least three years old and not available, but I just wanna show you guys the cute things that Uniqlo have in case you are wondering and I'll link a few of my favorite dresses and such that they have for spring right now down in the description box so you can check it out. All right, loves. So we have moved the party over to my clothes, which looks a hot mess because I'm packing for Miami. But you all can't see that. The mess is over there. We're going to get into these four pieces that the Meshki team sent over to me. Very grateful to them. They're amazing. Let's start with this two-piece orange set that came just in time because I am attending a party in Miami in a few days and this is gonna look perfect. You guys, it is this orange ribbed two-piece set. The top is like a bralette top. It's a halter top and then you can tie it kind of around your waist. It is in this stretchy, kind of like a neon orange material. And it has a matching maxi skirt with an elastic waist. You guys, this is incredible. I wish the color was coming across correctly. It is kind of like a super bright orange, like very vibrant orange. And it's beautiful. You guys know I live for a rib knit dress. I mean, I'm wearing one right now. And so to have this two piece set and this very vibrant color, which is gonna be all the rave this summer, purples, oranges, greens, the brighter the better for summer. I got this set in a medium, it fits perfectly. I'm normally a US size six or a medium, it fits perfect. Go with your normal size on this. Um, and the material, the quality is very good. It is quite stretchy, but not enough for you to size down. Again, it does have an elastic waist and this is just sexy and stunning and gorgeous. I don't believe they come as a set. So you have to buy the top and the bottom separately, which is great because if you're a different bust size than a bottom size, that works out well for you. But I like the set. You can wear it together. You can wear this top with just like a pair of denim jeans or you can wear the skirt with maybe a button up white linen top. You get more bang for your book when you have a two-piece set like this. Um, and I love this one. This is gonna be so perfect for Miami. Photos coming soon. So shout out to Meshki for sending these. I've linked this set down below. I believe it does come in a few colors. Check out that link. Next up, I'm in love. Uh, look, this summer, this spring, this year, the year of 2020, it's all about sparkle and shine. Now I recently tried on a top by the brand Nui, N-U-E, when I was in Miami at Ball Harper Shops from Intermix, and you guys love that sparkly top, but it is very expensive. It's like 500 bucks. This gives you the same effect without that price tag. This is a gold crop top. In the back, it has a little hook here, so you can form it to your body however wide you want it which is great, but it's like that gun metal sparkle. And of course, inside there is a piece to protect you because these little things can hurt if they're against your bare skin. But yes, there is a piece to protect you in the back and to also uh, to keep you modest so that nothing is showing through. And the straps are rather thick on this, as you can see. Uh, this is beautiful. 
I can definitely see myself wearing this with like my Margiela slash jeans and you know a gold pump and a nice little bag mm. and it just being a moment so this one is the gold one I think they also have silver so I'll link that this down below again and this top I also got a medium and it fits wonderfully if you're a little bit more busty you might want to size up um but for me it works perfectly and this is a great like going out at night top i can pair it with a pencil skirt and a, a tall heel or i can dress it down with jeans and it works just as good next up is another green top you guys know i'm living for green right now and when i saw this color i knew oh it is this green twist front top. It kind of has a cap sleeve. The material of this feels very much like linen. Um, and then on the side, it has a hidden zipper to make it easier to get on and off. It does have some buttons here in the front, but these buttons are faux buttons. They don't actually button into the top. It's meant to be worn kind of open with the little twist at the bottom this is very very cute very comfortable and i got this specifically to wear with my brand new celine sneakers so if you watched my new york fashion week vlog you've already seen these beautiful celine high tops that i got from Saks during new york fashion week shopping because we did a lot of that during new york fashion week if you haven't watched that vlog yet you're playing yourself watch that next but now i'm loving all things green that would go perfectly with my new celine sneakers and this top is everything this is very much on trend right now without the trend price tag i do believe this comes in a few different colors like white so if you're interested i'll link it down below again i got the size medium the medium fits me great i'm usually a usi 6 or mediums and top definitely go with your normal size and this fabric is really really great last but not least i got another green piece because your girl is loving green this is more of a lime green though and then it's this beautiful linen green halter dress the fabric is so good it has these little cutouts on the sides in the back actually it has an elastic band and then the back is pretty much out but these little dips in the sides are so fun and so sexy a lot of brands are doing their dresses like this now instead of it just being a circle of a cutout the back is open which is really nice there's also a zipper here in the back a hidden zipper so that it's easy to step in and out of and then of course it has a little side slit this side slit is actually pretty high so if you're a modest girl this is not for you but overall, a beautiful, very well-made dress. I love how form-fitting it is. I love the open slit. I could definitely wear this with like a tall platform Gucci slide or even a flat, maybe um, the Hermes flats would look really nice with this and a nice neutral color. This is beautiful. The color is great for spring. I do believe it comes in a few different colors. And again, I got this stunning dress in a size medium so those are the four pieces that i got in from meshki just in time for me to go back to miami because i have a ton of events i have late night parties i have lunches brunches i have a birthday party to go to and so these items would definitely come in handy so shout out to meshki for sending them over i have linked everything down below all right guys so it is now 1 p.m i have one hour to prepare for my podcast recording i think i want to touch up my makeup because i think she's going to record me through zoom um so that there is also video and sound footage i don't know if i still want to wear this dress or if i want to change into something more fun on camera actually i think the green works i think green looks good and also green is like my power color so i think i'll keep on this same dress but what i'm gonna do is go ahead and kind of figure out what i'm gonna wear to lunch because it's gonna be a tight squeeze depending on how long this podcast runs it's gonna take me at least 30 minutes to get down to rh and my girl cassie just sent me a message that she bought these i think she bought these celine sneakers she just sent me a picture of the celine box and she said i would be proud <laughs> and she's the one who told me i should get these like i think she were, was watching my stories and she was like get them 
and so I got them but yeah I'm really looking forward to meeting her and then we might do some shopping after who knows but your girl has to prepare this apartment I need to clean because there's someone coming to stay here for the next few months a family member <laughs> and I just want to make sure everything is all squared away for them while I will be in Miami so let's get ready for the podcast I will film a little bit of it for you guys but not too much because I definitely want you all to check it out all right I need to send some deliverables to a brand I need to send over all of the photos that I edited for Alto ride Alto and then make sure my headphones and everything are, are working for my zoom call um, and then we'll get ready to go to a late lunch all right guys see you soon <laughs> you guys I think this is so funny so I just got a form that I had to sign this is having to do with my mortgage for my house and it has spouse's signature on there like Why does it matter? This is too much. Clearly the, the spouse is me, but I just think that's so funny. Like I feel like that episode of Sex in the City when Miranda buys her own place and the lady keeps asking her to sign forms and she's like, it's just me. There is no husband, it's just me. I feel exactly like that right now, it's so funny. Anywho, that was a big part of work I had to do today. I still have to send in some paperwork. I have about 30 more minutes before my podcast. So I'm going to try and power through all of these emails so that as soon as I'm done with the podcast, I can change and head down to lunch with the girls. Got to factor in some fun time, you know? All right. So that was quick. I literally just sent off my, my Alto content and six minutes later, I got approved. So that's wonderful. But now they want me to go ahead and send my invoice. <laughs> you don't got to tell me twice, okay? Usually I don't send an invoice until either the company asks or right after I post my content and it's been up for 24 hours. But because they're already asking, I'm just gonna send it because that might mean that I get my payment sooner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create an invoice. It's very easy to do. I create all my invoices. Um, send them my W-9. Then when it's time for me to post the content, I'll post it and I'll send them over the analytics 24 hours after. All right, guys, it's about 10 minutes till two when it's time for my podcast recording. I did not make it through all of my emails. <laughs> I only got through one. And then one I still have to redo. It's a mess. Like, you guys, it's so much. So I need to refresh my makeup really quick. I want to change my lip and then I need to kind of test out the sound quality. So I have about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to take a break from answering emails, which literally I can spend the entire day doing. Sorry about the beeping. We're in the bathroom. I'm going to sit you guys here. So I did my makeup really like I took my time on my makeup this morning. So. It will last throughout the day, but I just need to touch it up a bit. You know, these computer monitors, they don't be telling the truth about, you know, how you look sometimes. And I feel like I look better in person. Anywho, I wanna change this lip because I feel like it's a little dark. So I'm gonna change to a red lip. I'm gonna probably just keep everything else the same. All right, so we're gonna go with my NARS velvet matte lip pencil and I'll link this down below because this is the red I always wear and you all always ask me about it it is called mysterious red I'm gonna add just a little more blush so it actually kind of shows up on the zoom using my NARS wanted two palette these two colors here I mean I need I need it to be like intense in real life 
so that it actually shows up on the monitors. So we are overdoing it and that's exactly why. It gives me a very flush look. I love it. Should I keep on the green? Like, do you guys feel like this is giving Christmas? Yeah, I feel like I'll stand out. So, that's the look. I kind of need to find a good spot to record or set up my computer. I feel like the light is coming this way. Maybe I could just sit right here, even though I lost the light a bit here. Here seems good. So I'm gonna prop my computer up on some books or something. So it's right here because the light there is good and these are the things we have to think about i have five minutes i'm going to pull up the questions because she sent me some questions beforehand but i don't like to practice too much when i do things like this i like it i like it to flow very naturally and everything that she's asking me i already know the answers to because it's about me <laughs> so i try not to get like too nervous about these types of things because it's supposed to be very organic. So I have about 10 questions um, talking about transitioning from my nine to five to entrepreneurship and my biggest lessons, youngest memories of fashion, biggest misconceptions about being an influencer, how I land brand partnerships, my dream brand partnership, my journey to becoming a homeowner and living in both Miami and New York City, some of the things I wish I knew before becoming my own boss, um, how my upbringing in North Carolina informs my fashion sense and lifestyle, um, the power of collaboration over competition in my career, and what's next for me. So if you guys are interested in any of those things, check out the podcast. I'll put the podcast channel down below. I'm not sure when this is going to go live, but just keep checking. Um, definitely follow me on my Instagram at Monroe Steel, and I will update you all there when my podcast episode drops so i need to clean my computer screen set it up i'll record a little bit i don't spoil it for you guys <laughs> but here we go all right so i need to find some books to prop this up on i have a few i need to get one of those stands i'm using my kim folk books these books are amazing by the way definitely check them out Kim Folk Home, Entrepreneur is great for entrepreneurs and table if you're really into cooking. I'm just gonna prop my laptop up here and clean off the screen. Okay. Welcome to the She Did That Podcast, Monroe. How are you feeling on this gorgeous day? I'm feeling good. Let's talk about this journey to homeownership, girl. Like, <laughs> this is huge. Like, it's a rocky time ride. I saw you, I had to congratulate you and just say, like, because I'm in a space right now where I'm kind of like redefining home, you know? Yes. Like, I've been in New York City for so many years, and it's like, okay, sis, you've done New York. Like, what else do you want to explore? So, I just love that you're sharing that this is possible especially for black women well yes <laughs> all right guys just to finish with the she did that podcast i think it's gonna go out in two weeks she said so really excited about that it is now three o'clock i am meeting the girls for lunch at 4 15 i am sweating <laughs> you guys I don't know why I guess I was a little nervous and I'm hot because I was sitting right next to the radiator and in case you don't live in New York we can't control our heat we have radiators and I'm sitting right next to the radiator and it was hot wow I look cute though anywho I'm gonna take off this sweaty dress <laughs> I'm gonna hop in the shower I'm gonna get myself together and then I'll come back and show you guys my outfit of the day and then I think I'm gonna head down, if I need to be there at 4.15, I'm gonna leave here at 3.30. So I have about half an hour to get myself together. I'm gonna try and hit the rest of those emails. I think I can get through, through them. That way I can really relax for the rest of the day with my friends. I don't have to worry about rushing home to try and finish work to have to anybody by the end of day today. That's what I'm gonna do. 
Don't forget to check out my podcast with Renee. She did that. Um, I'll link the podcast down below. So a very eventful day today so far. <sighs> but I love it. I hope you guys are getting a very accurate representation of what it's like as a full-time content creator. I'll check back in soon in a new fit. guys so this is the outfit I went with I'm wearing this old and other stories top it's very reminiscent of the Attico top with the shoulder pads I love it paired it with my Majuri necklaces Louis Vuitton earrings this skirt is from Alice McCall I got it from Farfetch um, I do have a Farfetch code it is 10 Monroe all capital letters for 10% off of your first order. This skirt is still available. I'm wearing a small. I also have this in like a cream color. Um, and it does come with a matching top as well. So I'll link the skirt down below. The boots are my favorite Stuart Weitzman Parton boots. I'm gonna pick a fragrance and a bag and a coat. I'm gonna call an Uber and we're gonna head down to RH Rooftop. One of the best places to eat. A beautiful view, a beautiful ambiance. I think we will have a great time. Cassie, Octavia, and I. So here is the full look. It is 34 degrees outside, so I did want to look nice and put together, but also practical. Um, and this is like a knitted skirt with these cool little designs on them. I did wear this during New York Fashion Week, but it does have a little slit in the back. And of course, wearing my Stuart Weitzman Parton boots. Anything that's still available, I will link down below in the description box for you all. This top is definitely sold out, but I'll link similars. So that's the look. Let's go ahead and choose a scent, a bag, a coat, and we will head out. Hey y'all, so we're in my claw office. I'm about to pick a fragrance. Just got a notification of my reservation. It says it's gonna take me 32 minutes to get there, so we're gonna leave right now. How do I want to smell? You know what? We're going to do Baccarat Rouge 540. Keep it rich smelling. I actually bought a new bottle the last time I was in Miami. I think I forgot to show you guys it. I mean, I put it on the screen, but I forgot to tell you that I bought a new one. Uh, smells incredible. Um, The bag. I really want to pull out my new... <laughs> sparkly Fendi baguette it kind of goes on my skirt but I'm so scared to wear <laughs> y'all know I wear my stuff now I haven't had the opportunity to burst this out yet but it's so fragile I just it's not time is it time is it time to wear it I don't think it's time she deserves a moment maybe I'll just take this she's killing it she works I can put her as a crossbody on under my coat. My little Fendi, 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 Fendigraphy Nano. But I kind of want to wear her. But I swear, if one sequence pops off, I'm going to have a field day. Because one sequence is like $11, like for real. <laughs> I should try and calculate how much one sequence is. Dang. I don't even know if I brought my sunglasses. I am a mess. Okay, I'm a mess. I don't want to be late. I don't want to keep the ladies waiting. Um, do I want to be extra? Maybe I'll take her. But this is like a night bag, no? Like, do we carry her during the day? She, I don't, I, this, this is not it. I don't know what to do. I feel like I want to take her. She's so extra. Am I extra? Or are you basic? 
We gonna take her, y'all. I'm scared. You know what? No. We're not gonna take her. Are we? You look kind of cute with my outfit. It's a moment. I'm gonna take her, but we're gonna be ever so gentle with her. Ever so gentle. Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> I barely wanna touch it. This is a shame. All right, what's going in my bag? My phone. Oh, let me call my, my Uber now. I'm gonna put a mask in there. What else am I gonna put in there? Oh, I gotta put y'all in here. Duh, I gotta put y'all in there. An extra battery. That's it. That's all she need. My keys and my wallet. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, so here's the look. I went with this Frankie Shop trench coat because I really just don't feel like being too hot, even though I'm pretty sure it's cold. And we're gonna take baby for her first spin. That's the look. Let's head to our H rooftop and meet the girls. Someone needs a photo. Right. Let's let's do it. y'all so i am back from lunch or a late lunch with the girls at rh which is um restoration hardware rooftop restaurant it was so 
fun. That was my first time meeting Cassie. That was also Octavia's first time meeting Cassie. And we just had such a good time like talking about work, about Miami, about New York, about being on YouTube. And it's just really, really nice to just be able to link with these wonderful women who I watch regularly um, and love their content. And it's also great that they're the same people that they are on online, <laughs> like offline, which is always really lovely. So I ended up getting the peach bellini, which was delicious. We all got the burger, the RH burger. It's so, so good. Highly recommend one of the best burgers you can find in New York City. We got some truffle fries and a Caesar salad. The Caesar salad was great. It was also Cassie's birthday, so she got a little cookie, like warm cookies that they make at RH every day. It was delicious. And then on the side, we got some gelato, some vanilla gelato and salted caramel. Let me tell y'all, the salted caramel, that, that's that girl, that's the one. Now y'all know I'm lactose intolerant and I'm not supposed to be eating ice cream but i just had just a few little you know i'm gonna take some beano i'm gonna take some beano right now it was worth it it's worth being up all night for with a sick stomach um i think i'll be fine but yeah we just had such an amazing time the vibes at rh are so great beautiful ambiance chandeliers water features and we were kind of there right when the sun set and it just looked beautiful um, it's a great place for a date or for a brunch with the girls. It's a wonderful place for brunch, like on a weekend. But you ha definitely have to make reservations. You can make them on, I believe, opentable.com or from the Open Table app, which is what I did. We had such a good time. Like, we almost shut the restaurant down just, like, talking. We were definitely in our tables, like, long after our food and drinks were gone and dessert. Make sure to check out Cassie Thorpe. She has an incredible personality. I love her channel. She's all about luxury, fashion, what's new in fashion, new collaborations dropping. Um, so if you're really, really into fashion, definitely check out. She also does shopping vlogs. She's based in London, so check her out. And of course, you guys know Octavia. She's been in a few of the vlogs, but she does have a channel as well, Octavia B. Um, check her out. I love her content. It's very soothing, very calming. She does a lot of vlogs, beauty, makeup, hair. Um, so she's wonderful as well. We had a great night. I... I'm gonna do some work yes I am gonna go ahead and try to knock out all of the emails that I couldn't get to earlier it's still a decent hour it is 7 15 so I'm gonna try and work until about 9 and then I'm gonna call it a night hopefully I'll get everything out to everyone who needs it I actually just posted a reel today is the last day of Black History Month so me and a few friends got together and did a reel showing black owned businesses that we are wearing definitely head on over to that reel drop your girl three red hearts check out some of those black owned businesses and support them year round not just February or Black History Month thank you guys so much for joining me on this extremely long day this is a typical day as a content creator, being my own boss, being an entrepreneur, making sure I'm staying on top of getting my content delivered, creating content at the same time, staying on top of my emails, creating reels, creating YouTube videos, editing reels. It's a lot, it's a lot, but you know what? I love it and I wouldn't wanna have any other job. All right guys, if you enjoyed today's video, if you learned something, if you saw something you liked, you know, Give your girl a thumbs up. I'm trying to get 4,000 likes on this video. Please help your girl out. Share with share it with a friend. If you are new here, if this is your first time watching, you watched all the way to the end, you like me, you like this channel, you like my videos, so help your girl out and subscribe. Help yourself out and subscribe so that you do not miss a video. Also, hit the notification bell so every time I post, you'll be notified, hopefully, because y'all know how YouTube be doing. And, you know, you can watch the video first. Thank you guys so much for joining me on a day in the life of a full-time, very full, full content creator. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>